All right, so I was watching this video on YouTube um, on Prince EA's channel. I really love this YouTuber. I mean, he's more like a motivational speaker and uh, just someone who does things that I always want to do. You know, I've been doing, but I just want to, you know, have this kind of impact in this world just like him someday. Yeah, I will. And the video was about the law of assumption. And I loved it. I haven't finished, but I will later. And I'm just inspired to just speak from my heart at this moment. So I've been staying here since 9 this morning. And I just really didn't do much, honestly. I just watched a bunch of videos. I took a nap. But I still feel really good because I know I am not really, you know, wasting time or being, you know, unmotivated. I'm just really taking some time as a mental break. Yeah, because in the past, like about two weeks, I've been just thinking about the book club meeting and I've been trying to do good. Just in my mind, I definitely have visualized the, you know, actual meeting when I met with all these strangers, you know, that we met for this love of books. And I visualized how I talk with them and communicate. And on that day, about, yeah, two days ago, exactly, um, it went really well. And I just found myself very calm and relaxed talking and sharing my ideas and thoughts and even emotions, right? And I really enjoyed it. Yeah, so that definitely helped me to get rid of that scared self. Yeah, through this experience. I definitely let go of that self. I wouldn't say completely, but definitely to some extent, I have just let that part of myself go. Does that make sense? And, but earlier, I did feel a little bit just kind of negative emotions. I tried to understand. I think it is the emotion of jealousy or um, what is it? More like um, just discomfort, you know, from competing and comparing myself more exactly, yeah, comparing myself with another person. And I'm not gonna say his name, but I just feel grateful for having this disturbed emotion. It helped me to learn about myself. And this is another thing that I'm going to work on. I'm going to let go of that me, right? with my you know experience yes um, why did I share this because as I said I was watching this video about law of assumption it is very effective and very powerful and magical but the problem is in our daily life we would have so many moments and filled with so many like disturbing thoughts and emotions feelings that just distracted our mental focus and we would be so frustrated and disturbed and distracted so the law of assumption was not fully effective right 
So it is so crucial to practice meditation and letting go. Only when we let go of all these negative and disturbing or just、uh, mental blocks, we can freely and effortlessly apply the law of assumption in our life and work. Right? It's like running. If you run freely. Without any baggage, you can definitely run as well as you can, even possibly even better than you thought you could. But if you hold those baggage, just like you're wearing a, you know, backpack or having some burden on your shoulder while you run, it's so much harder to run, right? Living our life. We don't see those baggage, but we feel those baggage. We have those baggages in our mind, and we often just feel so tired and unmotivated because we have those baggage for a long time. We are not Superman, right? We need really release and let them go. Let them go, okay? And this is really just another documentation. I want to share this documentation with you. This is my actual journey. As I shared, I still had those kind of feelings, negative feelings, disturbing me, without my intention, without my invitation. Does that make sense? Like I didn't want them. I didn't want all that kind of negativity, and. Just emotions disturbing me, and right, but they just came to me for a reason. Of course, I didn't have to understand why they arise in certain situations. I just have to practice letting them go, letting them go. What does that mean? Just allowing them to exist and come to you, but. You don't get affected by it. You just simply repeat to yourself, "I am very safe and secure. I am very, you know, powerful. I'm kind to myself. I will be fine, and I am definitely not my emotions." I am not blaming myself to have those emotions or feelings or thoughts about certain things or people. I allow them to come and be there, but I let them go without feeling anything. Right? It's so magical because you can just try it yourself. Whatever it is. The more you think about it, the more you hold on it, the stronger and the more impactful you will become. This is really magical, but very simple to understand, and actually, everybody has experienced that, right? The only way to get rid of those unwanted emotions and feelings or programs is by letting them go, letting them go, letting them go. Okay. Letting them go and telling yourself, it's fine, it's fine. It's a process. Take my time. Just breathe, and remind ourselves that we are just a work in progress. We are definitely not perfect. We are not trying to be perfect. We are just trying to love ourselves and be kind to ourselves and give ourselves more kindness and compassion. Compassion towards ourselves and love for ourselves, and yes, okay. And then the more experience like that happened, and you have those kind of experience, and the more surrendered you will become, the more free, the freer you will become. And next time when those kind of emotions arise again, you can have a much lighter feeling. Those feelings would not affect you 
as deeply as he would, right? As he did, as he did. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And all right, so today is July third, twenty twenty-three, and I'm gonna have some lunch with my mom. It's another beautiful day. Yes. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.